This actually looks really good, bro. Uh, this is like in my high top three of good looking videos. It's this light. It's so directional. It's so documentary. Like you got blown up out there and, 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 and one of your sergeants raped you. Like it's like, it's like, <laughs> Wait a minute, <laughs> it's like a Netflix documentary yeah, about. On, I don't want the, I want the booty taken light. Like, <laughs> about random, yeah. random army butt rape. Like yeah. it's just <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, man, that make, that light make it look like they took your booty, boy. Like, God, <laughs> How have you been, man? I just and, and and to go local, and I'm not one to gloat. I would I would never do. You're something literally like that. the one to gloat, though. To so, go local. Here we go. And then end up back on the road. Yeah, man. What was the mind state of, of just, what, was the, what helped you make that decision? First of all, what did you do local? I was driving a concrete truck, you know, a concrete mixer truck, you know, where you got to pour concrete out of the back end of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Basically a huge concrete colon. And then I just went and shit at people's uh, job sites. That's what you did? Yeah. And when did you know that maybe this local thing isn't working out? When the corona apocalypse slowed everything down, the demand for construction had slowed down because they couldn't have that many people at a construction site at a time. And then they got a bunch of drama with the, you got to have a mask. And you know what I'm saying? You got to get, we, they had the little thermometer thing that did. Dude, you know what I'm saying? Check your shit like you're getting scanned at Trader Joe's or something. And the, it slowed down. Slowed down. And man. when did you know the Guru Pitka, the Holy Messiah of Ishbu? What happened? That you had to come back to the sweat, warm bosom of the rigs. When did you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, because I'm back in the titty sweat of the bosom of the rigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you out here soft like clammy thigh meat. Like you out here. Yeah, yeah. I, ha I had to do it because, man, shit, I got family, man. I ain't playing. My kids gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. So man. you about to go back over to y'all? We ain't doing companies on here. We ain't talking about company. We just doing broad. We gonna say what company it is. Nah, nah. But, but just out. My, I'm just out here. It don't, ain't nobody been this who company. It ain't no better than yours. It ain't no worse than yours. Might be a little bit better. But it's it, definitely better than your guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ain't even fair. Like it's pretty dope. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You still fool? I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? You know. It's sunny over here, homie. I, I, that's why I'm all I'm all swole right now. I just left the restaurant. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a uh, ooh, I had a 10, 12 ounce uh, uh, sirloin, mm. Pittsburgh rare, with crumbled blue cheese on it, steamed. Asparagus, mashed potatoes. How you know on boiled asparagus? Because it had that crunch to it. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> that steam action. A boiled one, it'd be a little bit mushy on the on the on the back end. But this one was steamed to perfection. Yeah, it's pretty good. We we we'll tell you where we at because it's coming out when I'm gonna be gone. We in H Town. Shout out to H Town, man. Dig it down. And you went back OTR. What about OTR you think you're going to miss? I mean, what about OTR to have you missed that you think you're going to enjoy when you come back? Like, what are you, what are you looking well, forward to? I'm looking forward to, honestly, like, I mean, I loved spending time with my family, you know, the kids and everything. But I do enjoy the freedom of the open road. You can't, you can't beat it. Like, when I was local, it was the same. I mean, it's the city I live in, so... We drive by the same places every day. Ooh, that's the strip again. You know what I mean? So it's like when I when I get back on the road, I know I'm going to enjoy those. You know what I'm going to enjoy the most? Open road sunsets. Mm, that's a good one. That's a good one. You know, I, I like I like the uh, I like being in a place like, let's say, Utah. Yeah, that's a good one. You know, Utah. Arizona got dope stuff, Ar too. Arizona. Nice know. reddish sky. The Lozy, like, the one that I like really on the low, Idaho. Oh, yeah. Idaho oh, yeah. sunsets are, yeah, 
I'm yeah, thinking I'm it. actually plotting on a place called Coraline, Idaho. Uh, yeah, I'll show you some stuff off of here and stuff like yeah, that. You I'm, know? About see that. I'm, I'm thinking about getting that. a beacon in the rigs, you know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. Out there. And yeah. they, it's actually pretty. The, 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 the real estate is good. Gun laws are like loose, booty loose. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's either right at Nevada or even looser. Mm. And, um, that's loose. Yeah. In Nevada, you can have whatever you that's want. That's loose like a goose. You know, as long as you got your paperwork together, you got whatever you want. Yeah, I, yeah so uh, I was thinking about that, but. A lot of people don't see because people don't know we from the east. I'm talking about the water. We yeah. not like Norfolk. Oh, Norfolk we Virginia. from the actual like you can step off the continent east. Yeah, and it is night and day to the west. And I've been out in the west for almost a year now, and there is legit things that I miss about the east. Like what? Food. The food, yeah. Because it seems like. In the West, no offense to anybody now. Y'all ain't throwing down like the East. The Southeast especially. Yeah, the Southeast, how you slapping your mom about this. Listen, bro, before you leave, you better hit that Waffle House, boy. Oh, I'm going to that Waffle House. I hit it last night. I'm about to hit it in the morning. I almost like, bit my finger off. Game, like, it was but, real. Yeah, before I even show up anywhere, Waffle House has to happen. We need to wake up like 6 then. Okay, then I probably won't go, but... <laughs> 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 no, we can hit it after we do the little thing he needs to do. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, well, Waffle House is always open. That's why I like it so welcome. 24 hours. 24 hours. You mean? Like soggy toe hair meat. Yep. Yeah. But no, it. it's just, <laughs> it's just, when I, I tell you what I'm trying to hit, Bojangles. Man, I miss me a Bojangles. I, I listen, you know what I like from Bojangles? A lot of people love the chicken there. I do love the chicken. But I don't like those, I want a, those biscuits, the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits. Mm. In the morning. Mm. In the morning early. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, early, though. Yeah, not the morning. That's, that's 420 sale. Yeah, yeah. But the morning. Mm. You get that right about, you know, I don't know, five, six in the morning. See, if we if we could control the trucking industry, I would take every restaurant that's in the in the in that place is out. Yeah. It would be waffle houses attached to it. Oh, with yeah. a tropical smoothie kiosk. Okay. Okay. You know, just I in like case you want cleanse. Yeah, you got to cleanse. Exactly. Then I, I would have that one. I had Shoney's in that joint. You know what I'd have inside a truck stop? I'd have a Waffle House, <clears throat> a Smoothie King, a GNC. Mm. Okay. And a, uh, uh, what's the other one? You got to have it. It's a, uh, I think of it, but yeah, there's another one. I just can't think of it right now, but I know there's one more that I gotta have in there. Bojangles. Gotta have a bow yeah. jiggly in there. Yeah, it's gotta have, yeah, you gotta have a bow jiggly. Or a churchy chicken. I I like churches. I like churches, but if I gotta, if there's a churches here and a bojangles I'm going there, to bojiggly. I'm going to the jangle. I'm going to the jangle. You gotta go to the jangle, 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 jangle. You, know, you gotta go to the jangle. Do like, y'all from the West, y'all don't be knowing, yeah. bro. Yeah. Oh. oh, what about cookout? See, man, oh, bro, I miss a cookout. Cook that pulled pork salad. Man, I like those seasoned fries. Man, what? With the pulled pork salad, get like you a large sweet tea? I like the seasoned fries from Bojangles. I used to go to Bojangles just for the seasoned fries. Yeah, you know, they had the seasoned fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet tea. Yeah, and then, because I'm from the Dirty South, <clears throat> you get this, the large sweet tea, and then you get the half-gallon sweet tea refill on the back end, because you know you're going to be sitting there like... <laughs> and then... You gotta refill it. And if they had like a trucker's drive-through, where it was, it was that's it was what I high want. Enough? I want it high enough. Why don't they do that? Because man, they not won't. They not. They you miss got so to much. They won't. Yeah. And what they could do is they could they could put it in the middle of the parking lot at like the Petro or something where you could just yeah. uh, that mug drive through. Ooh, that'll be man. That thing be cranking. That'll be cranking. Because you know what truckers are lazy. lazy. <laughs> if I not, if I didn't have to get out the truck, when it go in front. I'd build a place where, like, you pay for a shower, okay? Like, you ain't got to get out of the truck. You pull up, you pay for a shower, and then you pull up to a shower. And get out and, and get in the shower. And you get out, and before, you don't touch the ground. It's level to your step, a little bridge to a portable shower trailer. Mm -hmm. You go in there, it's your own personal shower trailer, and you could park there. You see what I'm saying? Or you take your shower and you keep it pushing as a pull-through. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That'd Something like dope. that. That'll be dope. I mean, man. Man, I'll tell you a machine that would work if it was three a 1,000 years from now. Hmm. 
there will be a conduit in your house mm. and it teleports your excrement out of your body into the sewage. You don't even have to poop. That's deep. That's deep. There's now, clean booty holes all over the nation. That like, is ridiculously yeah. lazy. Yeah, that is. But how and freaking can incredibly dangerous, though. Imagine the first few people. Like, their whole colon gone. <laughs> Oh, they got beam. colon radiation. Yeah, you don't know. You don't beamed it out. Like that's it. Like you all What's wrong with my colon? You don't have one. Yeah, it's, it's gone. It's just gone. That would be dope. Like right now, you can just. Yeah. Zoop. Every time you walk in the house, it just does it. Zoop. But I think that I think, like realistically, uh, elevated shower, with a little. You know, you pull up. You can. You right there. So you pull up, line it up with your steps. Okay, has enough room for your door to swing open. You walk. Three feet, three, I mean, three steps to the, uh, to your portable shower deal. Boom. You don't never have to touch the ground. That's the, truckers do not want to climb in and out of these trucks all the time. Yeah, but I mean, they kind of need to because we're all dying from diabetes and stuff. Yeah, true. I mean, I give you that, but. But that would help some people take showers because they'd be stanking. Oh my God. I mean, that's what I'm not gonna miss. Uh, jiggling I mean, booty. That's what I'm not looking forward to. Jiggling booty sweat odor is definitely high on the list of things that are jiggling irritating. Jiggling booty sweat odor out of coveralls, Ooh. overalls, Ooh. where it's got that free breeze. <laughs> Every time they move, it's like a, it's like a, uh, like a, uh, what you, accordion. Oh my god! Don't let them and, bend down and yeah. stand up, or then bend down. Or they go like this, Ugh. and that thing expand and then contract. The expanding oh. part don't hurt you. But when they come back and it'll release all that air Man. from that BL. And they don't even be knowing it because they, they no, nose they know. blind. They know. They ain't no way you can't know. Okay? Like your scrotum is sticking to your thigh. Like you can take a spoon and just scrape. Why do you think off truckers off. stink? We have everything to us to take a shower. What do you think it really is why truckers be stinking? Laziness. Laziness and knowing that you don't have to be around people. You know what I'm saying? Think so you're thinking that the average man, if he really didn't have to deal with people, he wouldn't shower. Man, if women didn't want to live indoors, I mean, if women didn't need to be comfortable, we wouldn't even live indoors. It's women that drive us to do better. So you're saying you would just have a <laughs> holy dangling dog doo-doo, stanking and living outdoors if you didn't have to have women. I see it like this. Like, think about why people do the things that they do. You know what I'm saying? There's always a reason, a cause, a, a, a calling, something, whatever you want to call it. There's a purpose. You know, you, you shower every day and you, I mean, if it was just dudes, well, beside the fact that we go extinct, but let's say, you know, women weren't tripping and their noses weren't as sensitive as they are. You know what I'm saying? Well, let me <laughs> ask any woman, they'll tell you, like, look, you mm. smell bad, bro. Like, you need to take a shower. They Unless want, the crazy part, they won't even say it. They just won't fuck with you. I don't know, man, because I've 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 but been I in, seen some dirty. I've like been that. in the game for a while, and I've been in a lot of orientations, and I've knew husband and wife couples, and they both was busted. But that's because it's already established. He's not trying anymore. It's the chase that makes you want to do better. It's the chase. What's the chase? So is what gone. you've just said that 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 marriage. Kills the chase. Yeah. That's a given. But but you have to... It depends. Because I, I, I mean, I don't know. With, with, with mine, you know, I, I enjoy, you know, pleasing her senses. You see what I'm saying? I don't want her to be like, go wash your balls, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want her to, you know, be like, yeah, he's fresh out of the shower. You know what I'm you saying? Some of that yacht noodle. Yeah, you feel me? You about to get some of that necro You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that dangling neck meat. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? That got them gizzles. Oh, she about to hit it with an attitude. <laughs> <laughs> like, first of all, a chick giving you some deep head if she give you that gizzle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that gullet. Don't well, stop playing. Give me some of that gizzle. <laughs> what, what is a gullet? The gullet. In the gullet, bro. <laughs> if you could stick your dick in the gullet, would you? Yo, yes. <laughs> okay, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not that I can't. It's the fact that they can't take it when I do. That goddamn gizzard gullet. Go stop playing that gullet. Hey, listen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. <laughs> that is so <laughs> terrible. 
<laughs> if there was like if you if you went to a uh, alien planet and there was like this thing that that lived off blowing you oh that thing would have the highest regard in our society first of all we would steal them and bring yeah. them right back to earth yeah and these things would be in every, every walmart dude. yeah yeah is swipe the card. Picket lines against these beings. You know oh, you I mean? think that it would be because people will yeah. stop. We will stop appropriating. Yeah. It's like why would I deal with you when I can go over to the gullet master and, and yeah. Goji? Yeah, she's just gonna motherfucking. <laughs> I just gotta feed her. <laughs> and you got four esophaguses because she's a. Because yeah. I would do an alien. I don't know, man. I would do. First of all, you should never act like you would. That's number one. <laughs> what you don't, mean? You are the wrong person to act like it's. Of under you, like, I couldn't no, do that. No, I'm not. Listen, it's above me now. Okay, we watch Star. Uh, let, let's let's give it to a universe that people know. Okay, I would do Star Trek aliens. Star Trek aliens are bipedal humanoids. Like they they look like they're people. still aliens though. They just have like different color but skin. They're still and... aliens. Like I would I would do okay. like a purple chick with a green stripe down her back. It wouldn't stop me from doing it. No, it wouldn't stop me either. But I have to know the anatomy of that because you never know. I don't want to you know say slide up in there and next thing you know there's like a tooth. Like a beak or something, yeah. like an octopus. Like that octopus. Can you imagine that? That's like, the only way they orgasm is to bite it off. An uh, owl beak catching your shit. Jesus. All the way in the back. I seen this movie. It was called Teeth. I think it was called Teeth. Something like that. But this chick, right? Her, her fucking vaginal orifice had teeth. And anytime somebody was like, I don't know why people kept trying to rape her. But every time they'd get it in there and like, yeah, fucked me up. Did it spit it out or was she like no, it eating was, it? No, it was, it, the, hey, listen, if she didn't want it and you got up in there, you wouldn't get it back. That is, that would stop rape. Yeah. Completely. Yeah, that'll stop, that'll stop sex. I wouldn't even want to, I wouldn't even want to risk it. Listen, you want to have a baby, Roger that. Into a cup, there you go, turkey baster. I mean, <laughs> that was suck, you know, bro. But I'm not about to fucking risk that. Like, what if, what if, nah, nah. You know, that what was. If you, what if you choke her just a little too hard? Yeah, you get know, off me, yeah. get off me, yeah, yeah, get, get off me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know, you know, you gonna miss your whole joke because we yeah. try to go balls deep. Yo. And then, and then there has to be like a support group for dudes who've already had it bitten off, like. You know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta go into the dickless AA or yeah, some shit. Exactly. You know what I'm that saying? That is terrible, Tom. fuck. Hi, Tom. What happened? I tried to fuck a Dorian. And yeah. She bit off my dick. Bit my shit off, dog. That's why I watch octopuses. Like, that's not human. I mean, that's not Earth. It does seem like an alien. It's totally soft, but it has one bone, which is a beak at the center of it, and it's poisonous. And it shoots ink. Like, and it changes colors, dude. Like, this thing. Is an alien, bro. It's, 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 there's some weird shit out there, man. There's some weird shit out there. You know? But aliens, like, I've been watching well, Star Trek. Tr- listen, man. Society is about to crumble. Okay. And, and, and there's a whole thing going on. Let's, 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 let's turn the page. Talk about some real shit. There's a economic tsunami of a disaster coming down the pipeline. You know what it's called? Mass evictions and foreclosures. This is a real thing, you know. And I don't mean to fucking oh well, he automatically got serious, but we gotta we gotta keep it real today, you know. And I, I think that if we don't take time to look at the fact that we should have been prepping for a while now and putting money aside, and this is this is a double edged sword. The double-edged sword is this. It swings this way. Mass evictions, foreclosures, woo doo woo But once it swings the other way, if you bought while the market was crushed, then, you know, you're going to make a killing. I think that people don't understand. Everybody's mad about, you know, the people protesting and well, the riots and stuff. But you ain't seen a riot yet. You ain't seen one yet. You ain't seen a riot where everybody's rioting. You've seen riots where minorities and people who support the cause are rioting. But you haven't seen there's 10,000 people homeless with kids rioting. 
you talking about 1929 depression ride. Listen, think about this. 